Hey YouTubers and toy train lovers. Got a little different kind of presentation to give to you today. First of all, I'll tell you what I'm running. Got an old Lionel, and I forgot the number. <laughs> From about the 30s, it's up on top. And on the inside middle, we've got this nice blue, formerly Clockwork Marks Mercury. And on the outside, we've got this beautiful 1930s 1938 Canadian Pacific train and I've got seven of the eight cars except for Quebec I'm running eight of the cars the one of them is a duplicate Hamilton I also have an extra Calgary and Toronto so, if any of you are looking for those and have a Quebec, I would love to trade you. But, here's the part that's different. I'm running a portable power supply. This is called a Osni A E I U S N Y 500 watt power supply. They're available on Amazon for $269. If you've got an Amazon uh, credit card, you can get them for $249, plus tax, of course, free shipping. And I wanted to run this down a little bit so it's new, and I want to test it on my um, car to see how it charged from DC direct current from my car battery. So I'm using it on the trains. I've been running these trains for, I'd say about a half hour now, and it's gone down from 100% to 90%. There actually is a digit there. Looks like it says 900, it's not. But I just love this thing. I ran my TV on it the other day to see how long it would last. And it lasted for six hours before a little beeper alarm came on and told me that I was running the battery too low. It's time to recharge. And these are lithium ion batteries. So you get about 2,000 cycles from them. Otherwise, you can run it down about 2,000 times and uh, recharge them. Nice thing is, they did not advertise it or tell me in the instructions that this had a uh, alarm to tell you when it was running too low. And so while I was running the TV, and it got down to six hours, and I think it was 13.5% power left. I got a beep, beep, beep. You really shouldn't run these down below uh, 10%. And it's got USB ports for your cell phone, quick charge for cell phone, and for DC for your computer, and of course, in the back, there is an AC charger. Uh, pardon me, there's three out AC outlets, and you can plug it into the AC charger, and 
it charged up last night from 13% to 100% in five and a half hours. It'll also hook up to uh, solar panels, which is sold extra. And as I said, it'll run off your cigarette lighter in your car and charge up on that. So I think this is pretty cool running my trains on a uh, solar generator. Very impressed. And as you can see, I'm running a Lionel 80 watt and a big Z. And everything that goes on this layout, I don't have the uh, newsstand and the ice cream stand going right now, but I've got all the lights turned on on the layout. And, uh, as you can see, the light tower is spinning. So, I'm really pleased with this. I'm really kind of jazzed. It's a new toy. So, we just ordered another one yesterday. And we figured when we do have that power uh, shut off, we can have one charging while we're using the other one. Now, this will not run your microwave, uh, hair dryers, toasters, things like that. They use a tremendous amount of uh, amperage. So, uh, this is only, to me, it's for emergencies. I also have an electric bike that uh, you can uh, use your feet to uh, pedal at the same time. But you can go 20 miles an hour with just electric for 20 miles. Or if you pedal, you can go up to 35, pardon me, 20 miles an hour for about 20 miles. And if you pedal, you can get up 30 miles per hour. I've gotten up to 36 because I've, I've got pretty strong legs. And, uh, It'll go for 30 minutes, but this item is seven pounds and it will fit on the back of your bicycle. You strap it down and uh, I've got a carrier back there and I can go up to Upper Park, Upper Bidwell Park here in Chico and enjoy lunch while my bicycle is charging. So, quite a neat idea. They have a lot of these that, of course, are a lot more expensive and a lot larger and will run your microwave and small air conditioners, things like that, which I don't find interesting. I did, uh, first day I bought this, I ran an uh, electric fan, one of the ones on a stand. It uh, goes from side to side. I guess they call it revolving. And uh, that ran for seven hours before it needed recharging. So I had it on high, the fan on high. So that means you could have it on low and closer to you and be cool all night if your uh, AC goes out or you just want some fresh moving air. So I don't sell these. I don't recommend them for uh, profit. I make no money off my channel because I want people to enjoy the trains and not be interrupted by commercials and but I've tried it I like it and I think this would be great for guys at train shows 
you don't want to run long extension cords. And for the price of $260 plus tax and free shipping from Amazon, and if you get their credit card, uh, you get a, a discount. So uh, it's well, it's well worth it. To me, it's like carrying a lunchbox. It's nice handle, very small, and I would say it's about the size of a shoebox. So these are all these new things that are coming around that I didn't know about. I'd heard about them. Our power went out. Um, I say about three weeks ago and we were in the middle of watching a uh, Netflix. So that was pretty disappointing. And it would have been nice to uh, plug in the TV and the uh, DVD player and watch the end of the movie. And we weren't able to do that. We went to bed and watched it, the end of it the next day. But with this item, oh, I forgot. <laughs> got a very bright light. In fact, if I look into it, it's LED, it would blind me. So, uh, hope you learned something. Well, you see how messy my uh, room is. <laughs> That's actually because I've got the front drawer open on the uh, rolling file cabinet and I pulled the rolling file cabinet all the way out so I would have a place to set the uh, solar generator and I've got the tool drawer open just in case that decides to fall it'll fall inside the tool drawer it'll only go down about six inches so I'll show it from the side. So I hope you've learned something. And I never even knew there were such things. Final look at the trains. I might have to get some Gorilla tape for the uh, 3000 Canadian Pacific as a single reduction motor. As you can see, it's having trouble moving those eight very heavy cars. Heavy for a single reduction motor marks. And I should show you one more thing. I finally found, I always seem to miss out on this guy. man in the car it's a 555 I'm not sure if Mark's called this a reefer or a uh, box car but if you look at the other side you'll see another view of the guy in the car and that door is painted on both sides it was made that's a tin base it was originally made for clockwork motors, but I always thought it was pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and once again, this has been a big lizard production. Bye-bye.